Good morning. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. And I'm back to do the next... Um, I'm catching up. <laughs> I always get behind on this one. Um, the Marguerite Miller. It's the week 7, February 12th to 18th. So, here we go. <laughs> I need something that squeaks or honks. Well, I have a hamster and a guinea pig. And I have something that goes gurgle, gurgle, something like that. You know, you see the bubbles coming up? You must be making a gurgly sound. And I need a pair of something. Well, I have a pair of fish and a pair of little fuzzy animals. Um, something torn. Well, I have some paper here, but we'll tear up some more. And a math symbol. Well, this is the math symbol I've <laughs> decided to use. This is my Tim Holtz fabric tape. So there we go. I need to get an old math book, you know, to tear up. Um, bonus pattern paper. Well, my pattern paper is kind of in the background there. It's got the pattern of roses in it. And we have this little thing here that needs to go somewhere, so maybe we'll put it on there somewhere. Oh, and because this is a birthday party, um, for this goldfish, we have some cake. So, um, let's glue this piece down first. Um, I think I better ink it. I think, I think, I think. I think, I think, I think. And let's see. Do we want this to be on the whole page? Or we need something kind of torn, don't we? Um, what could I put down there on the bottom? You have to forgive me, I'm kind of listening for my printer. Because I'm printing out some digitals. So I got one ear here and one ear out there. Hmm. No, that won't do it. Um, 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 um. Noise out there, huh? Music boxes. They need music at the birthday party, don't they? So let's tear off this bottom piece down here. Because we don't really need all of that. Um can't tear it. So, how is everyone today? I hope you're all good. I am feeling pretty good. Can't complain. So, um, since I can't complain, what the heck? What am I going to do? I'm going to tear that one right in there somewhere. Where did that tear mark go? Right there. Ta -da! I don't know if it's the right size, but I tried. There we go. And we need to tear it down just a little bit further because the floor is too deep. Because I'm making the floor here. Right there. There we go. Now we have a flooring. I don't know. You know, I always make pictures when I... <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to make pictures when you collage. I guess it doesn't matter. I always kind of have a, an idea in my head of what what's happening at this party, you know, or wherever. So... I'm almost out of this glue stick. I hope I remember where I put the rest of them. Let me put something under here because you remember I said that it was rather bumpy. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Got this at the quilt store. 
went and went and bought fabric a long time ago for the um, the recipe journal that I made. I need to get all my stuff put on Etsy, you guys. I need, <laughs> I need to get stuff done. I will. I will get it done. There's no doubt about it. I mean, how much further behind can I get? Come on out of there. Look at this. It's just stuck. clean it out. No matter what, you always got to clean this glue out. Doesn't matter if you have on the little tiny nib or the fat nib. It always has to be cleaned. Which can drive you mad if you let it. But I'm not going to let it. No, 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 no. My printer was, it, I have uh, coffee dyed paper in it right now, <laughs> and it, I accidentally let a small piece slip into the batch, <laughs> whoops, the boy it kept trying and trying to eat that one, and all it did was tear it up and turn it to mush, and I had ink all over me. So, anyway. Yeah, this glue is about done here. You can tell because it gets harder to use. Because it's getting closer to the green bit. going around the edge here with this because I didn't want to run the glue stick all over my oh no there it goes look at that just put a little bit of that in there and let's put in our floor on camera. There we go. So this is going was going to go on the side. I should have something there for a baseboard, don't you think? Let me grab a washi tape. Something thin. Here we go. Can't find the beginning. And I can't find the end. Oh, wait. I felt it. Boy, you can go around those a hundred times. Okay. Just run that glue all the way to there and run it over to the other side. Why not? Okay, now I was thinking about putting this one down here, but I don't want to make it too fat, do I? Oh, why not? Let's fatten it up. So this should kind of stick all on its own. 
but you never know. That little corner has been showing, so. I'll throw a little glue down on it. Oh, oh I don't hear the printer. Ooh. I hope that means it's done. <laughs> I don't hear it uh, chewing paper up. So that's good. We don't want that. Okay. Boy, now that is like neutral colors, isn't it? All together. Well, let's throw in some pizzazzy colors. Pizzizzy pizzazzy. This goldfish has been very lonely. And so, since it's his birthday, the hamster and the guinea pig, who are friends with the goldfish, are bringing him a new friend that can speak the same gurgly language. You want to have that, you know, in your hamster and your, and your um, guinea pig's house, but you also want to have that for your goldfish. So he is standing over here behind it, like this. So I'm going to glue him down first. And we better leave room. We might have to put a hat on him or something. We'll have to make one because I don't have a party hat. We'll put this in there. And what you think right about there? And we probably better put this down for the little table. About there, I think. Because we're going to have a little table place. And that makes us use that little piece of paper, right? Yep, yep, yep. And um, we better grunge our table up a little bit. Okay. Now we have this skinny pig who went to the pet store. Which one did he go to? Um, I don't know. Maybe Squeaky's. Squeaky's Pet Store. And they only have very special animals there. And they are very good about being a good pet store. Now, I cut a little slit there in his mouth. So do we want this to go this way? Or should we put it that way? I think we'll go this way. So he can hold it right down there and keep it up off the ground as much as possible. And he is bringing this in to um, bring him his present. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like this, I guess. And let's see. Oh, goodness. Glue, glue, glue. These uh, glossy items are not easy to work with. Okay, so they're going to have a cake. And they like this one the best, I guess. 
I'm going to take that off of it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Let's put that back on there. My cake is falling apart at the seams. Okay. Happy birthday, Goldie. And this is Lucy, and this is Honey. And they haven't named this one. Maybe they'll name him Nemo, and they'll make a big movie about him. What do you think of that? Woohoo! He would love that. Um, the other thing they want to do is watch a movie. And they have an old VHS player. And um, they're going to um, need the controller to control the TV. So we're going to just put that right here because they're going to need it soon. And then... They're going to need popcorn with the movie. And, um, I don't know. What movie would they watch? What are you going to watch, guys? This is stuck on there. I threw a bunch of stickers away yesterday because I couldn't get them off the plastic. Um... They're going to have popcorn and birthday cake and this is the VHS movie they're going to watch. I think that it's um, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks because they all love that show. Or maybe it's Cinderella, you know. The mice are in that one, and they love to watch the mice. So, um, let's put the movie right there, because they'll need to watch it. Okay. So, I think that is about all they need, don't you? Looks like they're all set to go, and ready to have a big birthday party. And that is my February 12 to 18 collage. Goofy, I know. But I think I have it all in there. I mean, the pattern paper's back here, and um, squeak and squeak, and a pear and a pear, and cake. Uh, something torn. We've torn the paper. A math symbol down the side. And we have some numbers back here. Uh, bonus pattern paper. Well, we have that in the background. So there we go. And let's just collage this stuff right over here. Just to get it off my table. Make a little collage. There's that, and there's that, and what else can I put there? This one? I could.
So just a little addition over there to use up that paper. There we go. And I don't know if it's going to stick, but there it is. So, gosh, makes you feel like you should do something else with it, doesn't it? Yeah. I have no goals for this week. <laughs> My goal was just to stay well enough so I could get in here and get some stuff done. There we go. Okay, so there we are. I don't remember what that one's name was. I can't remember now. But anyway, I know this one was Lucy. Lucy and Honey. That's who it was. And Goldie. And we think maybe this one will be named Nemo. Oh, that's the movie they're watching. That's right. It's Nemo. I forgot. They told me and I couldn't remember. They're going to watch Nemo and introduce him to it. Because I think it's his Uncle Nemo in the movie. And that will be his name, Nemo. That's what it's all about. Okay, thanks for joining me today. And I hope you all have a great day. Take a quick look at the birthday party for Goldie. And there we go. Should have some words down there. Oh well, next time. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.